okay so I've been in Atlanta for about I don't know 30 minutes not loving the city there's no parking but there's a tabernacle right here and apparently they've bought out the entire parking lot and multiple parking lots for some Zac Brown I don't know um, oh who's the other band not Coldplay there was another band beginning with C that was gonna play right here today so everything's been blocked off but you can park on Lucky Street right here next to the Montana Grill and it's 133 Lucky Street and it's um, park for parkingapp.com which doesn't work there is a little pay station over there that you can pay at um, and it's only maximum four hours so it's eight dollars and to be honest I only have two places to go here and then I'm driving north to like the next museums so <laughs> this is like crap town Atlanta I don't know not loving it right now I think once I get out of the main city I think because there's big events going on but I'm gonna walk right now six minutes to the world of coke and uh, drove all this way to get Diet Coke and the thing is is that the um, uh, I have my other map here hang on so the world of Coke is six minutes away you go through like Centennial Park um, which is a nice walk and a little photo op seven minutes from here you can see right here right there um, and obviously there's no parking anywhere around there's, everything's one-way streets kind of crappy and so yeah once I get over there and then I go to the um, Human Rights Museum, which is just north. You can't see it, but it's just north of, holy crap, so loud. Uh, so just north of the um, Coke Museum, and then I come back. So I have four hours, I should be done before then. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk. And I think this is where that bombing took place back in 1996. So I'm so excited. <laughs> no idea this big group they were like can you take our photos and like say Pepsi Sprite <laughs> um, anyway so I have I have tickets for a 10 and I think they give you up to 30 minutes to get in but I can use the excuse that there's like no freaking parking okay where's the entrance I'm literally so excited I love the Diet Coke I'm so excited <laughs> The bottles, who thinks it's the bottles? We're gonna try this again, you guys. Delicious, delicious, lukewarm Coca Cola. Now, how many of you guys like ice cubes in your beverages? Y'all will be considered. Bougie in the 1800s. Yes, you will only you will have to pay one cent per ice cube to get in your drinks. So imagine you have five ice cubes in your drink in your Coca Cola. That would be double the price because Coca Cola is be five cents. Now they changed the price after 70 years. Can anybody guess what the price was? They changed it. I mean, they priced it up. What is it? Five cents. Five cents. It is. It's already five cents. What did they? Raise it up to? Three bottles. Five dollars. Five dollars. Fifteen cents. Ninety-nine cents. These are all really good guesses, but it was an outrage when they changed the price and raised the price all the way up to this outrageous number. Six cents. The inventor of Coca-Cola was Dr. John Stife Pemberton. That's a name we'd like you to know if you come to the world of Coca-Cola. We'd like you to know who invented our, the, the world's most iconic beverage. I know she mentioned the polar. Yeah, oh, hello, nice to see you again. It's one of our most, most uh, favorite guests. She's here all the time, great to yeah. see you. Do you also have?
seriously, like this is so fun. This is super cool. This is really, really cool. Anyway, just walking around, there's a lot of exhibits and then the polar bear is coming out at 11.30. Okay, now the most important part is the tasting room. Okay, first stop, I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I'm gonna drink. Okay, so I'm in the tasting room and I'm gonna find all the diet drinks so I don't like sugary drinks. Um, and I don't drink coffee, so Diet Coke is my go-to caffeine. Um, I don't even know if they have any diet. They have any diet drinks, but we're gonna explore and see if there's some that maybe I've drank on my travels, which Probably not because I don't drink sugary drinks, so I don't know if you can actually find a lot of diet drinks in other countries, but we're going to try. Okay, so on our first world tour, we've got Malawi, Indonesia, where I've been, North America, where I live, Germany, I've been there, Mexico, China, and Panama are the other countries that I've been to. I haven't been to Moldova or Malawi. On this one, we're going to explore Georgia, as in the country, not the state where I'm at right now. Uganda, uh, North America again, more North America, Romania, and another North America. On tasting number two, we've got Zimbabwe, Korea, Honduras. Uh, I've been to South Korea, Honduras, North America where I live, Peru, Thailand, Tanzania, and Italy. And actually, I've got a funny story about Thailand. Uh, I'll tell it a bit later, maybe when I'm on my way out, but remind me to tell you the story about Fanta in Thailand. It was horrible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, that's number two. Okay, tasty test number one is again North America, the big, big player, major player here. We've got Spain, Philippines, Germany, more Germany. I guess they like their beverages. I think beer is cheaper than water in Germany and the, maybe soft drinks too. And then another Fanta, this time Apple, Kiwi, and Brazil. Okay, the last station, I actually haven't drank anything yet, but the last station we have more North America, Venezuela, India, um, I've been there, Dominican Republic, I've been there, Greece, Chile, and Costa Rica. So I don't know what I'm gonna drink, I don't like sugary drinks, so maybe I'll try some high C, which I can just get like at the 7-Eleven. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll try something some Fanta. Maybe just for old time's sake, I'll have the Fanta from Thailand. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm gonna drink the Fanta right here. I've got my cup. I'm gonna strategically place it down there. Not too much, so I don't like the sugar. Actually, this is melon. This isn't the orange Fanta, but it's okay. I really don't like sugary drinks. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to finish it because I don't want to throw it away. No wonder they have like caution signs for the uh, wet floor because <laughs> people probably spit it out. Oh. Ah! Not good. Where's my diet coat? They have no diet drinks here. I'm gonna have to buy some. They have the store right there. I'm gonna buy some merch. Get some merch! <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, tastes like cough syrup. I like a lifesaver. I don't like candy. Oh, God. Done. Okay, the next stop now that my pancreas has disintegrated from the tasting room is the merchandise. So I'm going to go in and buy some things, get some things for Harriet get a bunch of stuff for the van. Maybe I'll change the van into a Coke van instead of a Beatles van. But yeah, they got lots of cool stuff. Lots of merch. I need like a hat, a beanie or something and get some things for Harriet. Polar bears, which is my favorite bear. I actually have a uh, polar bear soft toy that I've had since I was born. That's a cute bag. All right, I'm gonna do some shopping and then I think I'm probably not gonna stick around for the polar bear. I think I'm going to head to the next museum because I only have like 
three more hours on my meter and my alarm keeps going off because I parked right next to the train station. So every time the train goes by, my alarm goes off. Oh, that's cute. So if I get that, no one will know what it is. That's the thing about buying merchandise from like actual places because like people don't know what it is. <laughs> so anyway, I could get like a polar bear onesie. Not last night, it's too hot in the van last night. I slept pretty well though, so. All right, let's go over here. They've got hats. I just want a beanie that doesn't fold up. Beanie that doesn't fold up. There's me. They don't have any beanies that don't fold up. They've got hats though. Maybe I could get like a, like a hat like that. I don't know, we'll see. So this one is an option. It's red. Okay, so there's more beanies. This is the one I want that doesn't fold up. These ones just end up making me look like a gigantic cone head. Um, but I think this one's good. And then I got the red hat as well. Okay, so I got my merch and a bunch of stuff. Some things for Harriet, this cool hat. Um, and then I'm going over right across right here. Once you get out the gift shop, it kind of spits you out into Centennial Park. So if you were intending to see more, go to the gift shop last and not first. Otherwise you'll get kicked out of the place. So anyway, super lively. A lot of like church trips and school trips going on for summer which is fun. The world is back to normal, which is great. Um, it's super sticky, humid and hot, more so than, um, than Houston, but it's, it's livable. Anyway, so behind me here is the um, Human Rights Museum. So we're keeping with the theme of uh, crappy humans and how to be a better one. So yeah, so I'm gonna go check this out and then I think my time is almost up and then I have to drive to the next place. So I'm actually getting out of downtown after this next museum. So yeah, so if you want to kick a soccer ball around, I'm sure they sell them at the uh, at the shop over there. That was fun, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I got some Diet Cokes as well. Yeah, I got some t-shirts, I got a hat. I love Diet Coke. My liver, my pancreas, and my kidneys hate me, <laughs> but I drink so much of it. So there you go. Okay, so change of plan. They don't open till noon and it's 11.30. So I think there's a lot of school trips, a lot of kids, uh, like groups and stuff, so. Um, I am trying to get to the campsite pretty early tonight so I can do a hike um, up in the Smoky Mountains. So I think I'm gonna skip this museum here and just head to the next place where I go back to the van and head north. Um, let me check where I'm gonna go next. Okay, so the next spot is the Botanical Garden and the Museum of Art. So I think the Art Museum, I think I can walk to, I think it's right here. Actually, no, hang on. No, actually, I'm down here, blue dot. So I have to drive up to the museum, art museum, which is supposed to be a really good art museum, and then over to the botanical garden, and then I'm just heading north from there, going over to the CDC museum. That's really where I wanna go. So I think I'm gonna quickly breeze through the art museum and the botanical garden, go to the CDC museum. If I have time, I'll go to the Atlanta History Center. Otherwise, I'll just head into North Carolina for um, the next one. So this is probably gonna be a short and sweet uh, trip to Atlanta um, yeah uh, they're doing a bunch of 4th of July concerts and stuff since it's 4th of July weekend so anyway getting out of here um, you can get pretty patriotic you know being in a Olympic park so yay patriotism now I gotta find out how to walk back to my back to my van okay so I got a 10 minute walk through the park back to the van which is just right over here and then I'm getting out of Atlanta <laughs> so out of, out, actually out of downtown all right, that was fun. Bye, World of Coke. Thank you for pickling my insides. So Prudence is right down this street on Centennial Olympic Park and Lucky. And there's actually a parking lot right here. <laughs> so probably could have paid for all day parking right here. And they have solar panels, so naturally there would be sun. Okay, so I'm done getting out of downtown and heading north. <laughs>